Ladies and gentlemen, 70 kill Call of Duty Black Ops 3 gameplay. That's right, guys. I've got you a crazy, crazy video for Call of Duty Black Ops 3 early gameplay. I've put up some sniping footage, put up some mothership gameplay, and you're going to be seeing that kill streak again in this video, the highest kill streak in the game. We're playing on a map called Stronghold. Capture the flags. There's actually a respawn delay, about five seconds or so in between every kill. So when this map came up, I honestly thought I wouldn't do too well and wouldn't get a massive scoring game but I was definitely wrong things went really really well I'm gonna break it down talk to you guys throughout the gameplay let you know what kill streaks I was using which gun I was using because this gun is fantastic and also the specialists ability that I was using if you guys haven't seen any of the other videos I'll link them down below in the description I'm gonna have loads of Black Ops 3 videos for you guys continually throughout the year we've got the beta which is confirmed for August and uh, we've got the release coming out on November the 6th later this year so which kill streaks am I using? I'm using the UAV, the Wraith, and the Mothership. I think I used this loadout for the whole time I played Black Ops 3 here at E3 in LA. UAV is just a great way of knowing where the enemies are at. Wraith is basically a very powerful stealth chopper, similar to the one in Black Ops 2. And the Mothership is like a crazy chopper gunner, basically. And you'll see it in use doing a lot more damage, actually, in this gameplay than it did in the Mothership gameplay you may have pri uh, seen prior to this upload. So you do not want to miss it, my friend. This map is a larger map, but almost all of the map designs go along a three-lane system where you've got three lanes to go along. And Treyarch love this design system, and I love it as well. It means that the flow of the map works really well. It means you don't get really awkward flanking routes. People have to go down these three lanes. You get a lot of gun-on-gun -gun fights, and it works out really, really well. My specialist ability is one that I am loving and I find really useful. You can have fun with some of the specialist abilities. We have the golden gun, the crossbow, um, and those are more of offensive abilities, but they don't last for too long. And honestly, you could get those kills with your weapon uh, anyway. So I've gone with the actual ability that gives you extra score, which I've just popped right there. And all the score you get in that time period to come up as a blue plus on your screen rather than the standard yellow plus and you get about 100% more score so rather than 100, kill, 100 points per kill around about 200 points per kill that's still being fine tuned in terms of how much extra score you do actually get right here I completely flopped I was so close to getting the mothership for the first time I tried to jump around the corner and get the kill from hit fire it just did not work this honestly could have been 100 plus gameplay but the first high, the first side of the capture of the flag was so slow, I just didn't really think anything of it. It was just, it all kicked off in the second half. That's when all of the kills went down. I tried to pick up the flag as much as I could because you get extra score for your kills when you get kills as the capture the flag holder. So that was my plan to try and be a little bit more aggressive. I did end up getting quite a few captures again. That's going to give me a lot more score, which worked out really well too. Here you can see, you pick me up, uh, see me pick up a three piece. This weapon is insane. It's extremely good. It's a burst fire weapon called the XR2. It's very similar similar to probably like the Famous from Modern Warfare 2, very similar to the M8 from Black Ops 2, and you can put on Rapid Fire, which allows it to shoot even quicker, which I put on, and it worked out so, so well. So that's the end of the first side of the map. I think I ended it with about 28 kills, so I still need to go and get myself at least another 42 in this side, and this is where, again, I push up, become a little bit more aggressive, and just go ahead trying to get as many score as I can to get myself all of the big kill streaks. Picking up the flag here, trying to be really, really aggressive. Uh, so, so far I'm absolutely loving Black Ops 3. I've still got loads more gameplays I keep on saying to you guys. And I can't wait to play the beta when it comes out in August and just sit down in my home setup and play it. Because so far I've always, of course, been playing it at events. The setup's been a little bit different, but I really, really like the game. It, lots of people ask me, what does the game feel like? I'd say it feels like a merger, sort of Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2. I know, obviously, it's Black Ops 3. It's going to feel like the older games, but it's very, very smooth. And here you can see some of the new movement feature as well. That little white bar underneath my crosshair is basically your movement bar, and that will be used up when you slide, when you uh, boost jump. And that wall I was wall running along, you can't get across that any other way. And there aren't too many parts of the map where like it makes sense to wall run um, but only in like if you're being really sneaky and you're out of harm's way because you don't want to be wall running when you get in a gunfight that's not a good idea you'll see me pick off people that are wall running because they're just really easy targets and here I managed to capture the flag while I was uh, pushing that extra point specialist ability which gets me the warbird but I continue that streak on I didn't call in the warbird straight away. I was feeling the momentum. And honestly, like, I was doing well. I felt like I could pick up another Wraith or another Mothership. And unfortunately, it just didn't go to plan. Get picked off. And I'm like, you know what? All right, let's call it a day. Let's call in this Mothership and just start going to town. So here you can actually, with triangle um, or Y on the Xbox, actually switch between thermal vision. And thermal vision is really, really useful. So I turned it on. 
This makes picking out enemies a little bit easier. They still weren't the easiest things to find in the world, uh, but this time, of course, as you saw my Mothership gameplay from last time, I explained that I, I forgot I had rockets. This time, of course, I remembered I had rockets, but the, the minigun constantly fires. I don't think it has any cooldowns. So you can just hold it down and shoot away at enemies constantly. And these guys kept on spawning outside, which is amazing for me. I didn't have my headset on when I was playing. I was just I was just chilling. I didn't really want to have my headset on so I could hear what everyone else was saying. There were definitely people complaining in the room about being killed and I felt bad. I felt bad, but hey, it's for you guys. I wanted to get an awesome gameplay. And this was actually, funnily enough, the final Black Ops 3 multiplayer game that was ever played at E3 2015. I was at the booth, this was the final game ever recorded. As soon as this was recorded, everything was shut down, everything was wrapped up, and that was basically the end of E3 2015. It's been crazy to be able to get so much multiplayer footage and of course post even more multiplayer footage of a Call of Duty game this early on. It's only June, like normally we're months away from the multiplayer reveal, so hopefully you guys are really enjoying all of the videos. And at this point here, I know the game's almost over and I checked the scoreboard and I realized I'm at 68 kills. I'm like, I need to get two more kills so I can call it a 70 game. And luckily, two people just run straight into me, pick them off, I'd still try and get myself an extra kill and I almost get my final kill literally in the final split seconds of the game. Unfortunately, I only get one burst into them and I get a hit marker and then the game ends. But that is it, guys. 70 kills, 9 deaths early. Call of Duty Black Ops 3 gameplay. If you've enjoyed it, smash that thumbs up button. Really, really appreciate it. You can check out more videos on screen here and in the description. Make sure you're subscribing for more Black Ops 3 videos. I'm still in LA currently, but I'll be flying back home to the UK today and then I can start making even more videos for you guys. So thank you for being awesome. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you think of this gameplay. Let me know what you think of the kill streaks, the specialists, the weapons. You guys are awesome and I'll see you guys tomorrow with another brand new video.